Okay, so in lessons 16 and 17, students are going from ratios to unit rates. So we're going to do this problem to help understand. At Hannaford, bananas cost $2.98 for 2 pounds. For 3 pounds of bananas at Price Chopper, it costs $4.17. Which store has the pr best price per pound on bananas? So we're going to get students to hopefully start thinking about equal fractions, Hannaford and Price Chopper, and we're going to set it up money per pound. Hannaford's original ratio is 2.98 to 2 pounds of bananas. This is considered a rate because you're comparing two different things, money and pounds. But it's still a ratio, and students can scale it down to 1 pound, which is a unit rate. To scale 2 down to 1 pound, you're going to divide by 2. And whenever you do the bottom, you're going to do to the top. So for 1 pound of bananas at the Hannaford, it's $1.49. Okay, at Price Chopper, we're going to set up the same equivalent ratios here. We're going to compare pounds in money. Okay, for, for $4.17 at Price Chopper, you're getting 3 pounds of bananas. And we want to scale that down to 1. Okay, so I'm going to divide that by 3, divide this by 3. When I divide $4.17 by 3, I'm going to get $1.39 per pound. So if I were looking to save some money, I would shop at the Price Chopper, because the Price Chopper is... 10 cents cheaper per pound of banana. Okay, the second type of problem we did in today's class in Lesson 17 is this. Clifton Park had a heavy rainfall. It, read, it rained 3 fourths inch per hour. If the rain continues at this rate, how much rain accumulates in 3 hours? Well, we've encouraged the kids, again, to start with the ratio they give you, 3 fourths inch per hour, okay, inch over hour. Then we've instructed or taught them to times it by the time that they're looking for. In this case, they want to know how much is going to rain in 3 hours, okay? Since hours are across from each other, okay, the hours label or unit can be canceled. 3 times 3 is 9, 4 times 1 is 4, and it's 9 fourths inches in 3 hours, and you can change that to a mixed number, 2 and, four, two and 1 fourth inches per 3 hours. Hope this helps you understand lessons 16 and 17.